Alright guys, how's it going? So there's a good chance you've just recently installed Blender. Now don't get me wrong, some of you are old school, but I thought today's a good day to look at 7 add-ons that come pre-packaged with Blender that you probably should enable. Now if I miss any add-ons out that you think that should have been in the list, put it in the comments down below, I'm sure you will, and I'll give a brief overview of each add-on. Now I won't go into every single detail because when you get to things like Node Wrangler, well you could write a book on it. So the first tool that we're going to enable is the build tool. Now the build tool just makes boolean operations a lot easier and if you enable it here and go to shortcuts you can see we have a whole bunch of shortcuts. So the main menu for this is control shift and B. So if you can't remember the auto operators or the brush operators just press control shift and B. And I'll give you an example of what both of these do to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the default cube, as you do, Shift D, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to select the object that I want to use as a cutter. I'll Shift and I'll select the object I would like to cut. And I'll press Control, Shift and B. Now the auto boolean essentially deletes the cutting object. So if I go to difference, you'll see it automatically just deletes it. Very cool, pretty damn easy. So I'll quickly undo this and I'll press Control, Shift and B this time. And I'll do a brush and you can see here, it actually keeps the object, which means I can do a live boolean cut. So it really depends on your preference, if you just want to make a quick cut, or if you want to keep the object there. So let's take a look at the next add-on. Now this is a kind of buy one, get one free, and it's the add curve and add mesh extra objects. And all it does is add extra objects and extra curves. Now, I'll give you a quick example. If I go to add mesh, you can see here I now have things like a rock generator, a single vert, a torus object, maths function, gears, and if I go to curve, I have a whole bunch of different curves, and I'll let you guys play around with it. So the next add-on that I recommend you install is the Mesh F2 add-on. Now this is pretty much a must if I'm honest, and I'll just quietly read the documentation for you guys. F2, also known as a spider script, extends Blender's native functionality for creating faces, and it really is a great little tool. So we'll use this as a demonstration purpose. Now generally what you would do, you would select a couple of points and you would press F to fill. But what you can do here is, if you select an edge and then just press F, it will automatically fill it in. It will try its best to do it, sometimes it fails, but generally 9 times out of 10, it's pretty damn solid. So that's the F2 tool. So let's take a look at the next one in the list, and it's loop tools. Now this is one you probably should install, and it essentially extends the operations in terms of model, and it gives you more tools. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to quickly select a bunch of polygons, I'll right click, and you can see it up the top, loop tools. And you can see the options here, bridge, circle, curve, flatten, g-stretch, loft, relax, space. So if I hit circle, it'll try and make a circle using the polygons. So let's move on to the next add-on, and it's copy attributes menu. And it pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. It lets you copy attributes. So just as a quick example how copy attributes work, I'll quickly tab into object mode, I'll press shift and D. And what I'll do here is, I'll just add in a quick modifier and we'll just make it something like solidify. Let's move it up a little bit. What I can do here is I can select the target and I can select the source. And then I can press Control and C and you can see it gives me a whole bunch of options. And let's say for example I want to copy the solidify modifier onto this one, I just hit copy modifier. And that's pretty much the attributes tool. Again, one of these tools that just makes your life just that little bit easier. So definitely recommend. Let's move on to the next tool, and this is Node Wrangler. Now, Node Wrangler is a beast, but it just makes using nodes so much easier to be honest. Now, if we check out the documentation, I'll just give you a brief rundown. It does things like lazy connect, so if you're not perfect, it kinda lazily connects. And these all come with shortcuts as well, so lazy mix, merge, merge with an automatic type detection, that's really good. It also does like an automatic PBR setup, so you can just quickly set up PBR. Now there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube how to use this, and I'll cover it at some point, but I'd like to get on to the final add-on, and this one is Pie Menu Activation. And it basically extends the Pie Menus. Now, you can enable and disable whatever you want. It just fully fledges out the pie menus. So like animation, hotkeys is shift and spacebar. Apply transform is control and A. So if I press control and A, for example, on this object, I can do things like apply visual, location, rotation, scale. It really just extends the pie menus and it's pretty intuitive to be honest. 
Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do. Thank you.